verifying the law of conservation of mass in a chemical reaction. Aim To verify the law of conservation of mass in a chemical reaction of barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Apparatus Chemicals and Materials Principles or Theory Precautions Procedure Take 100 milliliters of distilled water in each of the two 150 ml beakers. Weigh the two watch glasses. Set the reading of the electronic balance to zero. Using a electronic balance, weigh 7.2 grams of barium chloride in one watch glass. Dissolve this barium chloride in 100 milliliters of distilled water in one of the two beakers. Now, using a electronic balance, weigh 16.1 grams of sodium sulfate in the other watch glass. Dissolve the sodium sulfate in 100 milliliters distilled water in the other beaker. Weigh the empty 250 ml beaker on the electronic balance. Observation Weight of the empty 250 ml beaker is equal to M1 is equal to 112.63 grams. Mix the barium chloride solution and the sodium sulfate solution in this beaker. Stir the contents using a glass stirrer. A white precipitate of barium sulfate will be formed as a result of precipitation reaction. Weigh the beaker containing the reaction mixture. Let this mass be M2. Mass of the beaker containing the reaction mixture after precipitation is equal to M2 which is equal to 335.93 grams. Procedure Calculate the weight of reactants and products and compare them. Calculations Given that the density of distilled water is 1 gram per milliliter. Mass of 100 milliliters of distilled water equals to 100 grams. Mass of barium chloride equals to 7.2 grams. Mass of barium chloride solution equals to 107.2 grams. Mass of sodium sulfate equals to 16.1 grams. Mass of sodium sulfate solution equals to 116.1 grams. Total mass of reactants equals to 107.2 grams plus 116.1 grams equals to 223.3 grams. Final mass of the reaction mixture after precipitation equals to M2 minus M1 equals to 335.93 grams minus 112.63 grams equals to 223.3 Grams.
inference. On comparing the total mass of reactants before the precipitation and the final mass of the reaction mixture after the precipitation, we see that the total mass of reactants is almost equal to the total mass of products. This shows that mass is conserved during a chemical reaction. Conclusion or Result